Welcome to Counter Foundation Class 5. This tutorial builds on the earlier classes in the series. In this class, we explain the new book reports and the unique title metrics, and then how to use them in calculating cost per use. In Release 5, there are several reports that provide information about book usage. We will now take a look at the counter reports which provide information about book usage. A Title Master Report, TR, shows activity across all metrics for entire titles, which may be books or journals. The TR can be filtered according to user needs and has three standard views which apply specifically to book usage. TR B1 uses just two of the counter metric types, Total Item Request and Unique Title Request. In both cases, this means that a user has viewed or downloaded a full text content item in the context of a book. That means TRB1 is focused on full text views and downloads of book content. TRB2 is the standard view that shows book access denied. This shows where users were denied access to books because simultaneous use, concurrency licenses, were exceeded, or their institution did not have a license for the book. This report uses two metric types, limit exceeded and no license. TRB3 is the standard view that shows all applicable metric types broken down by access type. That means TRB3 uses six metrics. Total item investigations, total item requests, unique item investigations, unique item requests, unique title investigations and unique title requests. This report tells you about full text views and downloads and the other actions or investigations performed by a user. These might include viewing a book or chapter abstract or preview. Foundation Class 1 describes our metric types in more detail, but here's a quick recap. Investigations and requests are the two metric types which show user actions. Let's take a look at investigations first. Total item investigations is the number of times a content item or information related to a content item was investigated by a user. Unique item investigations is the number of unique content items, for example chapters investigated by a user, while unique title investigations is the number of unique titles, books in this instance, investigated by a user. Requests follow the same pattern but are about views or downloads of full text. That means total item requests is the number of times the full text of a content item was downloaded or viewed, while unique item requests are the number of unique content items, for example chapters, requested by a user, and unique title requests is the number of unique titles, again books in this instance, requested by a user. In Release 4 of the Code of Practice, it was difficult to compare usage across platforms because some provide books as single PDF files, and some provide PDF files of individual chapters. In Release 5, it is much easier to compare book usage across platforms. The number of unique item requests may vary between sites, based on whether the content is delivered as a complete book or by chapter, but the unique title requests will be the same regardless of delivery mechanism. Let's take a look at these metrics in action. Susan is researching the history of antibiotics on Publisher Alpha's platform PPA and finds the big book of medical marvels. This book is delivered in chapters. Susan opens five chapter abstracts. The counts will then be Total Item Investigations 5, Unique Item Investigations 5 and Unique Title Investigations 1. Because all five chapters are from the same book, the unique title investigations count will only be one. After reading the abstracts, Susan downloads PDFs for all five chapters. The counts become total item investigations 10, unique item investigations 5, unique title investigations still 1, total item requests 5, unique item requests 5, and unique title requests 1. Again, because all five chapters downloaded by Susan are from the same book, the unique title investigations and unique title requests will only show as one. In the same session, Susan finds some other useful content on the PPA platform. The Book of Medical History, which is delivered as a whole book, and Susan downloads the PDF. And Antibiotics are fun, 
which is delivered as chapters, and Susan downloads the PDFs for three chapters. This is a truncated example of the TRB1 report that Susan's librarian will receive. The report will contain many more columns with information such as the ISBN and DOI, but we don't have space to show them here. The Big Book of Medical Marvels shows total item requests as five, one for each chapter PDF downloaded, and unique title requests again has a count of one because all five chapters came from this title. The Book of Medical History shows total item requests as one and unique title requests as one because the book is delivered as a single PDF. Antibiotics are fun showed the total item requests as three, one for each chapter PDF downloaded, and unique title requests as one because all chapters came from this title. We can see that while the number of total item requests count varies based on whether the content is delivered as a complete book or by chapter, the unique title requests count shows us that each book was used once. Librarians can use the data from the TRB1 report to calculate comparable cost per use. Here is a spreadsheet showing the same three titles with use by all users in a year. The librarian has used the unique title requests metric for the calculation. The Big Book of Medical Marvels has 40 unique title requests and costs £300. The librarian divided 300 by 40 to get a cost per unique title request of £7.50. The same calculation applies whatever unit of currency is used. The Book of Medical History had 20 unique title requests and costs £100. The librarian divided 100 by 20 to get a cost per unique title request of £5. Antibiotics are fun had 30 unique title requests and cost £75. The librarian divided 30 by 75 to get a cost per unique title request of £5. We can visualise the cost data in several ways. In this example, the graph shows that Antibiotics are Fun and the Big Book of Medical Marvels have both had 30 unique title requests, but the cost per unique title request is lower for Antibiotics are Fun. Antibiotics are Fun had the lowest cost per unique title request and the Big Book of Medical Marvels had the highest. If you would like to learn more about Counter Release 5, or to refresh your memory on other points, please take a look at the other Foundation classes on our YouTube channel, or contact us at compliance at counterusage.org.